So, what is the final word on Automatron? First of all, robots. Robots is cool. I must apologize for the odd noises I'm currently emitting. A consequence of being mechanical in nature. They're incredibly useful. I wasn't aware that roaming the Commonwealth could prove so interesting. Don't worry. I have no problems assisting with the destruction of my own Whatever it is we're out here looking for, I'm certain we'll find it soon. On the other hand, they all have personalities that were taken right from the Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy. And if you know where I'm talking about here, it's very much, uh, very much the serious cybernetics, real people personalities. I couldn't ask for more. I'm not saying that's a bad thing. You can make incredibly powerful robots. Robots that can unleash electric death upon your enemies. They're useful. They can man the barricades here. They can man the, the artillery. They can generate more scrap. They can do pretty much anything any of your settlers can do. And you'll notice I'm still using settlers where I can. There's a reason for this. Robots are incredibly expensive. I mean, you really... I figured I would at least be able to, to uh, put at least one robot on each of these before I did this video. Just basic as this. Just that's This is Automatron 710 or whatever his name is here. That's what you get if you do absolutely no modifications. No, 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 no. We're just gonna we're just gonna back away from it. I mean, I'm a pretty wealthy guy in this game. I mean, a lot, a lot of water. Lots of water. I'm generating probably close to 800 units of water. In Oh, every couple of days, or however many times it cycles. And that's roughly, well, maybe a little over... Victor 8,000 caps every couple of days. And I'm spending a lot of it buying up as much stuff as I can just to try to build these robots. I couldn't build a robot now if I tried. I've got robots working on these scavenging stations all over the place. They have to keep cleaning out all of the vendors of the Commonwealth just to try to keep enough junk fed into the system so that I can keep cranking out robots at the rate that I want to crank out robots. Just to set things up. It is worse than trying to maintain uh, the building of settlements. I can tell you that much. They go through stuff. Whew, at least got some money back there. Which is probably good balance, really, because if you could build a gigantic army of these suckers easily. I mean, that thing's got dual unstable laser Gatling guns on it. If you could have like 10 of them following around at once or 10 of them all over the place on every... Uh... Yeah, it's very burdensome. But if you could have like 15 of these on every settlement, I mean, nothing would ever be a problem. You wouldn't have to worry about defense for the most part. So it's good that they're expensive in a certain way. Deeply annoying, let's but for yes, I let's. Speaking of which, coming down to the lair, and ooh, now just check this out. Big Dave Laser. There's a Muppet reference here. If you really, really, really know your stuff, yes, he is. I think uh, that freeze canisters on them. I think it was freeze canisters. I don't think I put. I don't think I put mini nukes on in an indoor tank, but at any rate, you can see with the power that one of these gives you, it's good that you don't need to, you know, it's good that they're a little bit expensive. He's, he's running a little warm. Okay.
It's good that we, when you want to do one of these missions, or if you want to... Where'd you go? Where are you, girlfriend? Come on. Looks like the last time I got a checkup. She's got to be around somewhere in that little green jumpsuit. But anyway, it's nice that when you want to do a, uh, a rogue robot mission, you got to come here and get it. You know? Now, sometimes you might just want to trade, and you end up doing a rogue robot mission, but, you know... She work in the back? That would be so funny if I'm trying to do this video and then she disappears. Isabella! Isabella Cruz! Oh, I'm sorry, was that a uh, spoiler? She must be out in the main area someplace. There's so many shadows. Okay, it's good that, you know, when you want to do one of these missions, you have a very good chance of actually doing one. <laughs> That's just funny. I guess you can disappear like this, and then you have to go and come back. But it doesn't mean there's nothing that says that she can't go out and do other things, I guess. I mean, you know, really. She could be out wandering a boot. Looking for parts, or... Or maybe she's had the hell with everything, and she's gone forever. But at any rate... Well, I mean, the point I'm trying to make here, even though I can't find her, is that it does give you control over whether or not you do the Radiant Quest. You don't have to have them coming in and interrupting what you're doing. If you want a Radiant Quest, you come on down here, you talk to Isabella, and she hooks you up. And she has a bunch of stuff that you can buy from her, too. She makes a great trader. Though I just invested 500 caps with her, and now she's gone. Hmm. Same with the iBot pods. It gives you the option to start the mission when you want to start the mission. You really want to be famous, don't you, Nick? I hope that's a trend that Bethesda runs with, that they give you more control over what's going on. Although I have to say, since I've stuck Preston out at the castle, and I never go to the castle, and I never listen to Freedom Radio, I get interrupted a lot less. Although every time you go to certain settlements, you end up having that conversation where it's like, oh no, something terrible's happened. And you're like, but, but how could anything terrible happen when you're completely surrounded by automatic weapons that automatically target anything bad that enters into the realm? And don't forget the robots. I mean, who's getting kidnapped from here? This isn't even my highest defended area. I mean, by nothing's... No, no. You, this is not a place to go and screw around. So if you pace yourself, and you're not worried about getting, like, a lot of robots at once or gigantic robots at once, and if you use the rogue robots, and if you use the rogue robot missions to supplement your parts inventory, then this can be a lot of fun. You can have a lot of fun with it. But if you want to catch them all and build a lot of robots all at once, you better be good friends with Trash Can Carla. And a whole lot of other vendors. A whole lot of other vendors. Ooh, circuitry, crystal oil, screws, a straw pillow! Oh, and you know what? One thing you gotta do at some point is just set up a, a supply line with an extremely heavily armed, heavy, heavy robot. And then watch him at unleash all sorts of heck on the bad guys of the Commonwealth. Seriously, you gotta do that at least once. That's my robot, I think. Blasting the crap out of people. Look at that, with even shooting them, I'm out of range. She's mesmetrizing them. Mesmotrized. I love lightning, Bill. So on that chatty robot note, this is the Black Knight, everybody. Have a great night. Whatever it is we're out here looking for, I'm certain we'll find it soon. Whatever it is we're out here looking for, I'm certain we'll find it soon. But the
main point here is that the detective's life isn't an easy one, but it rarely lacks for excitement. That wasn't the main point, Nick. You interrupted me. Now, same with the iBot Pod. It gives you the option to start the mission when you want to start the mission, when you need the mission. It's not like you hook this thing up and all of a sudden you're just getting hassled for weeks on end. Oh, go find another, you know, piece of oil or a chunk of aluminum. Piece of oil? Let's try that over again. Or like these iPod. iPod, blah, 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 blah. So if you paste yourself. They keep interrupting me. It's hard to think. Okay, no. Okay, that's, uh, that's, that's enough. We're just going to go back over here to, to do the little closeout talk. This is weird. This person is, like, not lighting up. And I've obviously armed them. But I can't seem to see what they're assigned to. Oh, it's one of my scavengers, I guess. Excuse me. I'm not looking for trouble. Enough junk here for both of us. Um. So this is a, a scav. She must be one of my scavengers from someplace, because otherwise she'd be causing some kind of problem. And I know I dressed her up. I appear to be well built for travel. You should be That's weird. Oh, one of my. This is one of my. Uh, oh, there's Lightning Larry. World famous Sergeant Primero. You hear about that farm run by ghouls? Isn't that something? We have the entire Commonwealth to explore. Where should we go next? If you act and now some bonus footage as we go and defend Hangman's Alley. Help defend it. Help. Come on, come on, come on. Wait to get to the Let's see how this works out. Where's it coming from? This direction. Uh oh. Huh? Came from this direction, looks like. Well. Whoa! Crap. We're sucking down a lot of rats sticking around here. Provisioners, some toasted raider scum, and now I'm carrying too much. <laughs> Missile launcher. I thought there was more stuff that they were blasting out here. What the heck happened to... Oh! Raider scabber. There you go. Tiny little bits. Yeah, so much for the truck. I liked that truck. Remember, we follow the rule of the wasteland. The the way to honorably treat any, any dead body is, of course, to leave it as naked as possible. Didn't think that was going to be a girl. That's... <sighs> Anything else in here now? Life back to normal. <laughs>